Okay. Thought we'd do a little uh, talk about senescence today and how dry fasting helps get rid of senescent cells. Uh, got some kite surfers over here. You know, one of the things that happens during a dry fast is certain things turn on that don't turn on normally while you're eating all the time. One is a uh, very weak activation of ubiquitin. However, when you stop eating all sugars and the pancreas stops pumping out insulin, <laughs> ubiquitin then starts grabbing all the lysine on the bad proteins and dragging them over to lysosomes and the uh, ubiquitin proteasome system to grind them up into anagenic peptides and amino acids. So, <laughs> Once that happens, the things that are wrong with the cells get rapidly fixed or not fixed. And if not fixed, they die. The idea here is that cell death is a normal part of our somatic life. And uh, although stem cells can replace those cells, you've got that somatic problem all the time. So to get rid of senescent cells, you dry fast. Cuts the uh, insulin down because you cut the sugar off. So during the year, which is why I take Physitin, uh, it takes care of a lot of these cells, senescent cells in particular, because it helps go inside the cells. There's multiple signaling pathways to go inside these cells and determine whether or not they're savable or not, and if not, to turn them off. Get rid of them and then start activating the peptide responses to bring in the macrophages to start grinding these things up and eating them, engulfing them. Of course, the uh, reason cells go senescent is uh, a couple of reasons. There's this thing called the, t the Hayflick number. It has to do with how many cell divisions cells can divide and replace themselves to keep your tissues maintained. Hayflick determined 30. Repeat determines if you just add a few things like vitamin E and things like that and normal oxygen uh, levels like found inside the body more like 70 replications so you got a lot of replications possible and it's these telomeres you can see in this picture the ends of the gene have these little repeating codes GGA CCG and what they do is they unzip and when they rezip after cell division like in this video they lose some of those telomeres you lose enough, it can't unzip, it can't unzip, it can't duplicate itself, and then things get dicey. Because if it can't unzip and it can't reproduce and it just stays alive somehow, it starts pumping out interleukin 6 and 8 and all this stuff and causes inflammation around it and makes other cells go senescent. The bad apple in the barrel scenario. So dry fasting fixes that because dry fasting turns all that kind of stuff on to get rid of those problems because you've exhausted your sugar. You've reduced your insulin. You've changed the PKA and the wind protein uh, profiles to be able to activate the stem cells, and deactivate cellular replication, and allow all these things to get in there and see if the cells need fixing or not. So dry fasting is one of the best ways to get rid of senescent cells. But like I said in a previous video, you can't do it all the time. So you might as well take some physicin during the year. Once a day, once every couple of days. I go through bouts. I even do the hit and run thing where you do, you do like 6,000 milligrams in a day for like five days straight or seven days straight and then stop. And it kills off so many senescent cells, you get a Herxheimer effect. But boy, do you feel better because when you take all these SASPs, these inflammation agents away, you feel better. It's proven in all the literature that, yeah, this is what happens. So you can take visiting, of course, during the week, or during the year, rather, and, of course, you can try fast. So try fast gets rid of a lot more really fast. And there are two people that live inside of you. One is the person that sleeps, and one is the person that eats. And if you haven't noticed from my videos that those chemistries are very different, but your body may put you to sleep to try and deal with your bad habits. 
We'll talk about that in the second video. So anyway, yeah, dry fasting is great for getting senescent cells, senescent cells cause more senescent cells, they cause all kinds of dysfunction, mitochondrial dysfunction, all the things that cause degenerate diseases is from this accumulation of senescent cells, which I show in a philosophy of time travel. To be very possibly the accumulation of the natural accumulation of iron, labile iron in the cells causing inflammation. And without the copper to balance it, it gets worse a lot, worse a lot faster. Anyway, that's it for today. And I will see you later. Kind of cloudy today. Not so bad though. Have a good one. Bye now.